You've probably had a chocolate dipped strawberry sometime, but how about chocolate dipped pineapple? I am going to show you how you can make chocolate dipped pineapple that is sweet, salty, and spicy all at once. And it's so easy to do. First of all, you need to start with a fresh pineapple. And right now in the stores, they're sweet and juicy. This one is so heavy for its size. I know that it's full of sweet juice. So to get my pineapple chunks ready, I'm going to cut both ends off of the pineapple. And then I'll have this nice flat bottom to stand it on. Just take a sharp knife and cut away that outside rind. Let's get a nice big slab of this pineapple. And you can see that there's a hard core right in the middle of the pineapple. So I would just keep cutting all the way around that core to get my nice pineapple wedges. And I usually save this just to kind of chew the nice fruit off of it. Now, I'm gonna take this slab, there's a little piece left to cut off here. And if you have any of those little seed spots left, just slice them off. And then I'm going to cut cubes of pineapple that will be bite size and big enough to go on a little skewer and dip it into the chocolate. And if you want to, you can make them as thick as you want. I try to make them, I don't know, maybe half inch to one inch thick. There we go. Now, I've got my chocolate ready to go and all I did was take two three ounce chocolate, chocolate bars, really nice dark chocolate because the pineapple is so sweet. And after it was melted over some hot water, I've got hot water in my pot, not enough to reach up to the bottom. I don't want it to touch the bottom of my bowl. Just want it to be able to simmer and heat up the chocolate. I kept stirring it till it was melted. And then I added just an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. Mm -hmm. That's what gives it the heat, the spiciness. And now I've got my little skewers ready to go. I'm going to just stick them into the pineapple. But before I put it into the chocolate, I have to just dry it off a little bit with a paper towel so that the chocolate will stick to it. And just kind of tip the bowl. And I don't cover the whole pineapple. I like some of that nice yellow fruit to show. But I dip it maybe halfway or more. Let, it, let that chocolate drip a little bit. And then set it onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And to finish it off, I'm sprinkling it with just a little bit of sea salt flakes. So we've got sweet, salty, spicy. After they've been in the refrigerator, they're ready to go. Delicious for brunch and delicious for dessert. I'm Sue Doden, sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.